Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts. Today we have a few more flutes to look at. Um, these are available through my website. Now they're not Native American style flutes. If you've seen any of my videos and listened to uh, some of my music, you know that I dabble with other flutes outside of the Native American style flute. And over the years, I've grown fond of transverse flutes, transverse style flutes, meaning we play them like you'd see a traditional uh, silver or metal flute being played. These flutes are made by George Tortorelli of Medicine Wind Flutes. He does a phenomenal job. Uh, he's down in my home, uh, not my hometown, but my home state of Florida, where it's very, very humid. Um, so I have four flutes here that I want to go through. Uh, these are available on my website. We're gonna start with the lowest and go to the highest. There are two, uh, I'm sorry, three major scale flutes here and one a uh, little bit more exotic. So we're gonna start actually with one that I use in quite a bit of my music. It is a D major flute. So this is commonly uh, songs for me like um, Moon Dust, and um, there are a few others that are escaping my mind, but I use a lot of these um, flutes both as um, featured flutes but also harmony work as well. So this is in the key of D major, so it has that classic Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Now you can get with these flutes, unlike the Native American style flute, you can get um, a little bit more range uh, with these flutes. Now the hardest thing with this, and when I was learning to play a transverse style flute, it was all about the embouchure. And that takes a little bit of work. So unlike the native flute where you can just pick up and blow into it, this requires a little bit more effort. So here we go. This is the D major. <laughs> There's our octave. Now we can go higher. Beautiful flute, it has this burned finish, and what I love is the smell. This flute smells exactly like my first Native American style flute. Bamboo with burned holes. Uh, there's not much that is a better smell than that, at least for me. So next we go to, this is in the key of F. This is a little bit smaller than the D. Uh, the D is a little bit, a uh, little bit bigger and longer as well. So here we have the we have the F. Very beautiful key. Next we have the A. So in comparison to the F, we're, we're taking another step um, in a smaller direction. So here we have the D on the bottom, the F in the middle, and then the A um, on the top here. So here we have the A. A smaller flute, this one would be great for throwing in your backpack, taking along with you anywhere uh, that you wanna take a flute with you. Uh, very lightweight, um, but quality, um, you know, the bamboo is, is uh, really strong. So here we go. This is in the key of A. A fun flute to play. Next, we get over to something a little bit more interesting. Now, we played an F flute. Now, this one's also in the key of F, but the tuning is much different. This is what George calls the F raga scale. And so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see because it is relatively dark. It's about the same size, but the holes. So on the top, I have the, um, I have the major scale. And on the bottom here, I have 
the um, the more exotic scale. So the finger placement or the hole placement, I should say, is in a little bit different position. I'm gonna keep my middle finger, there's no hole there, but I'm gonna keep that on there. And then the ring finger of my bottom hand, cause there'll be a pinky hole and two holes here. So these are the holes that I'm covering on the bottom hand. And the holes on the top here will be the index finger, ring finger, and pinky. So the other ones I say keep on there um, as you're comfortable with them, but to help give support. So this is a beautiful exotic sound. So it definitely takes more effort than the native flute, especially when it comes to embouchure and breath control. I remember when I was learning to play this style of flute, it felt like I was winded and I would get lightheaded. So take it easy if you're new to these kinds of flutes. Uh, if you are interested in any of these that I played, please visit me at johnnylipfordmusic.com. There's no H in Johnny, it's J-O-N-N-Y. I'll drop a link in the description below so you can get access to those as well as links to other resources that'll help you grow as a flute player. So things like songwriting eBooks, uh, courses, and all sorts of helpful videos, both here on YouTube and off of YouTube. So until next time, I hope you keep the music going. I hope you stay safe and healthy and happy, and I will see you in a future video. Thanks so much.